everybody, this is Lisa. Just wanted to come to you for day two of our online devotionals and uh, just kind of share a challenge with you guys today. So today my challenge is that you guys show up. Get up, get dressed, put some makeup on, put some perfume or cologne on and show up. Be present for your life. Just because you are confined by the four walls of your home does not mean that you don't have to show up and be present for your family, for your, you know, your spouse, or even for yourself. You know, in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, it says, whatever you do, do it with all your heart as if you're serving the Lord. So today, when I encourage you and challenge you guys to show up, it's because we are doing things for the Lord. It says, do it with all of our heart because we're serving the Lord. And you know, I've been seeing a lot of memes and uh, jokes online about maybe homeschooling and how hard that is. And maybe you've already suspended your kid or expelled them, or maybe, um, you know, you're on parent teacher conference for the rest of the month, whatever those might be. Some of them are hilarious, but here's the thing. Here's how we can look at this a little differently. Yes, we are stuck at home. Yes, homeschooling your kids is hard. Yes, we deal with your kids. We know that they can be challenging sometimes, but they are a gift from God. And if we are looking at things as serving with our whole heart, how different will that be for our children? How different will it be for our family if we just show up, if we are present? If instead of complaining, about how we want to expel our kids, what if we found the one positive in today? Maybe the one success that you found with your children today. Maybe the one success you found with your spouse. Or maybe the one success you found with yourself. And we shared those positives. We share what we did with our whole heart as if we are serving Christ. So if we share the one success that we have from today, how much more would that encourage the social world that we're living in? You know, we're keeping our social distancing. I think it's more like physical distancing. But what if we socially said, we're gonna do everything with our whole heart as if we are working for the Lord and we decide to start encouraging one another during this time. We decide to start saying, you know what? Here's our plus, here's our success. Here's the good thing that happened today. You know, I have a shirt on for an organization called More Than Just Me, and they work a lot for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, but the entire premise behind it is that there's more than just me in this world, and what can I do that's different? And so today, you know, as I, I read you guys Colossians 3 about whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as if you're serving the Lord, what can you do today to be present in your life? to be there, to remember it is more than just you. And how can we serve the Lord with our whole heart today, with everything that is in us? How can we rise up and say, God, you are good. You are good in the middle of homeschooling our kids. You are good in the middle of standing outside H-E-B waiting just to get in to grab a few groceries that we need. You are good in the midst of being locked in our home. You are good because the birds are chirping, the wind is blowing, and you are good because you sit on the throne. And so how can we, in the middle of the chaos, do everything with our whole heart as if we are serving the Lord and remember that God is good and be present and show up for our life. So get out of your PJs, sorry, turn Netflix off, walk around your house a few times if you need to, and be present. Find the good things in today. Share those good things. Let's encourage one another. Let's build one another up. Let's decide today that we are not going to be confined by the isolation, by the walls that we think are closing in on us. Let's remember to serve God with our whole heart today. And let's go forward and encourage one another in our daily successes. Because friends, that's how we're going to get through this. That's how we're going to, to smile in the midst of, tri of tragedy. That's how we're going to smile in the face of devastation. That's how we're going to smile through the isolation. 
because God is good. And if we look to each other and we encourage one another and share our God stories about what he's doing and how we've served him, there was a bug on me and that's disgusting. <laughs> So see, success, I got it off of me. But let's rejoice in the good things. Let's rejoice in what God's given us and how we can move forward in that and how we can say, God, you are good, you are on the throne, and even in the midst of this chaos, we will celebrate you and we will do everything with our whole heart. So go forward today. I challenge you, be present, be active, get up, get dressed, and do something amazing as if you were serving the Lord. Have a great day. God bless you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.